Hi everyone, just a quick note here. I think this is a great short monologue for men. Could be done by women also. It's from a show called uh, Wall Street or something like that. It's about Mark Wahlberg. I never saw the show. I just saw it the other day, just by chance. I was flicking channels and Mark Wahlberg's there. I haven't spoken to Mark for about 20 years, but it's a show worth watching. First of all, it shows you the real person behind everything. Mark is actually an amazing person, philanthropist, helps as many people as he can, right? In this particular section here, he's discussing one of his businesses and they happen to go to a business, it looks like a business consultant who happens to be a Greek priest. So of course the priest says, can we do a uh, prayer first? And he does the prayer and then he just literally destroys their company or their, you know, their report on this company that they're thinking of investing. I think it's a great monologue. It's definitely one that no casting agent has seen. And just look at how he just goes bang, 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 just destroys them. Worth trying out. Good luck with it. Take care. Are you okay if we start with a prayer? Of course, sure. always. Okay. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, we ask, pray, and entreat that you will bless all those involved in the Green Zebra Endeavor. We ask that you enlighten our minds with the light of your knowledge and wisdom. For you are holy, always, not forever, to the ages of ages. Amen. Amen. Yeah, that's a first for me. Ryan, uh, can you remind me of all Ryan? Sure. Mark and I, over the past year, have chosen to partner on a, a number of different deals, uh, Green Zebra being one of them. I only spent about 25 minutes on this. Normally, when analyzing a company, I would probably spend a couple hours. I mean, and honestly, I spent a couple of weeks and some, some months and even years. While I'm not an expert in the convenience store sector, I've studied at least, I'm, I'm sure, hundreds of companies over the last decade. And in that process, usually what I do is I publish my research publicly so that it's open for public scrutiny. Right. Okay. Um, well, let me start with the positive, first of all. I think what Lisa's trying to build is really admirable. And I think that the convenience store model, I can understand why people would think it should be disrupted. But let me just walk you through what I see on the deck. So the deck is, is confusing, <clears throat> but just getting into some of the things that jump out at me. Mm -hmm. So the page says, so who are we, our customers? It says people who are health conscious and short on time, basically everyone. Um, I'm not totally convinced that's everyone. If we're looking at a country of 330 million people, probably a lot of health conscious people in Seattle and Portland and LA, but uh, I don't know, I'd speak for the rest of the country so quickly. That's fair. Yeah. The other thing that jumps out at me is it says industry-wide enterprise value is 10X EBITDA on average. Based on my research, that's wildly off. So it says gross profit margin is 22 to 26. I happen to know that's a false number. He's talking about an increase of going from 11 million in gross sales to 120 million in five years. That's a hockey stick. Right. And look, it's the, the very, very suspect of hockey stick projections. I don't like them. I think they're a huge red flag. The convenience store business, it's very capital intensive. The interest expense is 10% of gross margin. You can have a company that loses money for a while. You have to put a lot of inputs to increase revenue. A loss of about 2.1 million. She's talking about metrics that I've never heard of. Looking at the statement of income, that worries me. When you're raising capital from investors, liquidation preference, methodologies for valuation. The more money you put in, the more you lose. Then we get down to the debt income line. Very severe recession. Again, I don't know when this deck was done, but as we sit here today, it is not the time to invest. We are looking at a very severe recession and probably a depression, in my opinion. That worries me as an analyst who studied hundreds of companies. So that's 20 minutes of analysis, guys.